Now, it was seen as a breakthrough drug for those with epilepsy, helping to control fits and seizures. But now questions are being asked about the prescription of sodium valoprate, particularly to those people who were pregnant. Yeah, the drug has been blamed for causing birth defects to babies born to mothers who took the drug during their pregnancy. It's believed to have caused autism, learning difficulties and physical deformities in up to 20,000 babies in Britain. Now, two years ago, a report criticised doctors who'd failed to inform women of the dangers, but that drug is still being prescribed to pregnant mothers. Patricia Alexander, whose two children were both affected by the drug, said she received no safety leaflets with the medication. And she joins us now. Patricia, thank you very much for speaking to us. Just explain to us then the impact this drug has had on your life and the life of your children. Good morning. Um, so, yeah, as you said, I've got two children who are 21 and um, 12. Um, we weren't made aware of the... Um, the risks known to the babies um, at all and there's a number of difficulties that they have um, and need a lot of support for um, both physical um, difficulties and also um, uh, to do with their um, sort of learning difficulties as well so it's a lot of um, things that go into every day just to sort of be able to get through the day um, and it, you know until you actually sort of go through the day with us you don't realize how much actually has to go into a day just to be able to get through um, this. Sounds incredibly difficult so we appreciate you telling us Patricia and um, just tell us a little bit about uh, the drug that you, that, you that you took. A lot of people won't have heard of sodium valproate. Um, yeah, so I, I was diagnosed with epilepsy um, when I was about 20 years old in 1997 and um, I was introduced onto sodium valproate at quite a low dose. Um, it didn't control my seizures so they gradually increased it um, and I was on 2000 milligrams a day. Um, and then we, you know, we were looked after by a number of doctors all throughout the pregnancy. Um, in my first pregnancy, we obviously asked a lot of questions. We were new to uh, being parents. And um, the, the only thing that they mentioned then um, was the risk. There was a high risk of um, down syndrome and um, cleft palate which we were referred to a, a hospital up in London to uh, be scanned for that and we were assured that everything was okay um, and then it was only really sort of as, as the years have gone on and the diagnosis has come along uh, one again after the other after the other um, and then we've got quite a big gap between our children and um, nothing again was mentioned to us when um, we were pregnant with my second child. Uh, in fact, the, um, the questions that we asked, I was actually dismissed um, by my epilepsy nurse specialist who just quite frankly turned around to me and said, look, you're not the first woman to um, have a baby with epilepsy and you certainly won't be the last. And that was how I was treated at, at my appointments with my concerns and I just thought, well, you obviously don't care about what I'm worried about. Hmm. What do you want to change to make sure that other women and their children don't end up having the same story and the same trajectory as you have? Well, I think um, what, what's happening now is that, that awareness is key. Um, and although this is sort of more recently, um, the information has become more available in the um, package inserts and on blister packs and things, we've, we've seen that, that there are times when I even get my medication come in white boxes um, and the label just says on there to speak to your GP if you're thinking of becoming pregnant, read more on the leaflet inside. And there is no leaflet inside. So how can women be expected to, to read about these things if the information isn't there and given to them? Um, also, when we get the purple boxes that do have the new warnings on, um, sometimes labels are stuck over those warnings. So if I'm getting boxes like that, 
there are plenty of other women who are getting boxes like that. And on epilepsy forums that I'm on, this sadly isn't something that is just me that's going through this. This is echoed up and down the country, affecting thousands and thousands of women who are equally learning about this late, too late. I didn't learn about this until my eldest was 15. Mm. And I wasn't told by a doctor. I found out on social media, which is actually quite heartbreaking to sort of yeah. learn that everything that your children have been diagnosed with and every single disability and difficulty that they encounter is all down to the medication that I needed um, to, to help and me. I thank you for, yes. for speaking to us, because as you say, awareness is really critical. And hopefully that's yes. what we've helped you do this morning on the programme. Patricia Alexander, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, I must just stress, an NHS England spokesperson said they've set up an expert group to help cut the use of this drug in women who can get pregnant by 50% next year. And also from the government, the Department of Health said... Patient safety is a priority. We take all reports on this matter extremely seriously.